So another great comeback phone nandito sa ating table and this time it's the Honor Magic 4 Pro na kaka-launch this coming September. And I know that this phone packs a lot of punch and packs a lot of firepower lalo sa kanyang camera. 100 times zoom. Perfect para sa mga marites na mahilig sa latest and juiciest na cheese max. Tara, subukan natin. So hi guys, I'm Pala Sirishman ng Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. And today, I also get to test itong bagong table ko that can tilt that I believe would be perfect for unboxing just like this one. So all I need to do is just titilt ko lang itong table na to. And andito na ang phone. So all I need to do is just adjust a little bit of my camera and good to go na ang unboxing. And probably ang kulang na lang dito is non-slip mat and perfect na perfect na itong bagong table ko. So yun guys, kita natin, this is the box of the Honor Magic 4 Pro. And the box is quite elegant, unlike yung mga X-Series niya na puti and well, it's just a very plain print dito sa harap. This one, it's a little bit more premium looking ang kanyang box. On the side, Honor Magic 4 Pro naka-print. We have here is the color black variant na may 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gig of storage. And by the way, guys, itong phone na ito is being priced at 52990 And there's a really nice freebie na kasama. It's a watch ni Honor, which is worth around 12,000 pesos. And this promo is valid until supply last. Buksan natin. So, ganito ang itsura ng phone na bumungad siya. And kita natin yung kanyang camera module is quite familiar. And probably nakita na natin ang ganito ang itsura sa Xiaomi 12S Ultra. So let me have the honor of peeling this one off for you. And kita natin, the back is really shiny. So expect a lot of fingerprint smudges. And along the way, punas tayo ng punas dito. And we have here sa likod is definitely a glass finish. Sa gilid is metal frames. And sa harap, it's a Corning Gorilla glass protected na screen. Other things inside the box. Tiyan natin ko anong pa meron. Meron siya SIM injector tool. User guide and warranty card, frosted na uh, jelly case. Hindi siya transparent, medyo may pagka-translucent. And pag kinapit natin, ganito itsura. Hindi talaga siya clear. We also have the USB Type-C charging cable, Type-C to auto jack. And of course, ang kanyang Honor na supercharged na 100 watts na fast charging brick. The only thing na probably ma-aasar ka dito is that, well, kailangan mo pa bumili ng adapter. Tara, quick phone tour muna tayo. Sa likod, ang kanyang quad camera setup na may 100 times zoom. May lalim loudspeaker, Type-C port, microphone in, and of course, ang kanyang SIM tray. Pag-eject natin ng SIM tray, apparently, wala siyang micro SD expansion. Dalawang 5G SIM ang kaya natin ilagay dito. Sa gilid, meron siyang antenna bands. Sa ibaba, meron siyang another loudspeaker, isang uh, noise cancelling mic, and of course, IR blaster. On the other side, power button and volume rocker. Ang kanyang fingerprint scanner is on screen. Sa harap, ang kanyang dual camera setup. And sabi sa inyo, hindi si iPhone ang nauna sa Dynamic Island na design. Si Honor, oh, meron na. Okay, so unlocking this phone. Kita natin, the display is definitely very nice. Ang ganda ng kanyang display. I love it. And of course, it's also curved ang kanyang side. So giving you the smoothness pag nagsaswipe kayo ng left and right. Dahil wala siyang kanto. Dalagang swabbing-swabe ang swa swiping dito sa phone na ito. No? I, I really love yung mga curved edges na phone like this one. And ang feel ko dito, I can say na premium feel ang binibigay sa akin ni Honor Magic 4. Dahil sa kanyang material na ginamit, I can really say na this one is very premium ang kanyang feel. And processor ng phone na ito is Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. I was wishing na sana nila ginaya sa laptop 8 plus Gen 1. It would be a little bit better. And alam naman natin yung jump no, from 8 to 8 plus Gen 1 is really great. Dahil napakita ko sa inyo on my previous video na yung lundag niya is quite big. Kaya napawaw din si MKBHD. So yeah, tinest naman natin and it really did improve a lot. So, ginawa din natin ang benchmarking dito sa Antutu version 9.4.4. I did it around mga 10 times. So, naglalaro siya between 780,000 to 845,000 ang kanya maximum. And this is probably my last test. So, ito ang result natin, 800,000 points. 
which for me, medyo bitin for a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Normally, I'm getting mga around 900 or 900 plus. And 8 plus Gen 1 ang nakaabot ng mga 1 million plus points sa Antutu Benchmark. Taking other benchmark, impressive naman ka ng score dito sa Geekbench. Maganda din ka ng score dito sa Wildlife Extreme. And itong phone na ito has a 6.81 inch na OLED display. LTPO na siya and it can display up to 1 billion colors. 120Hz of screen refresh rate, HDR10+, and ang kanyang max brightness can reach as high as 1000 nits. And by the way guys, to correct myself, itong front glass niya is protected by a aluminosilicate glass. I'm not quite sure ko ano yun, but definitely it's something of the same kind ng Corning Gorilla Glass. Now, ang Honor Magic 4 Pro is running Magic UI 6 inside the Android version 12. It has a 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. The only thing na medyo bitin for me is that yung kanyang RAM is not extended ng 4 gigs. Now, some of the things na napansin ko dito na meron to enhance the video na pinapalad natin is that meron siyang video enhancer which can enhance yung color and contrast ng full screen video para mas vivid ang iyong experience. Ang suggested app niya is, ang supported apps niya is YouTube and Netflix. And there's another one. Meron pa nga siyang frame rate booster kaya nag-i-increase siya ng ano, no? frame rate ng videos giving you a more smooth experience while watching video and Netflix. Pati screen resolution, pwede mo i-calibrate dito. Either you use a smart resolution or you use a manual calibrated. Now, itong phone na ito is equipped with LTPO, meaning you can go as low as 1Hz and as high as 120Hz of screen refresh rate kung ginamit mo itong dynamic mode. Now, of course, Honor having the Play Store back, so meaning you have YouTube here. So watching some videos over dito sa YouTube, I can say, Ang ganda ng kanya display. One of the more premium phones na feel ko ng ganda while watching videos dito sa YouTube, sa Netflix. This phone really gives me something na yung hinahanap-hanap ko from a flagship phone. Yung immersive experience while watching your favorite shows dito. And what's nice dito is of course ang ganda ng kanyang sound sa speaker. Quite loud ah, ang kanyang sounds and I was impressed. Hindi ko na kailangan halos gumamit ng headphones dahil more than enough ang binibigay sa akin ng kanyang stereo speakers. So right now, patugtog lang tayo na ng copyrighted music and check lang natin kung gano'ng kalakas when we set it to the maximum ang kanyang loudspeaker. And I can say na quite loud ang kanyang loudspeaker. So itong phone na ito is packed with a 4,600 mAh na lithium polymer battery and it can fast charge up to 100 watts. Nakita natin kanina kasama, it's a 100 watts na supercharge ni Honor. And tinay natin, i-charge itong phone na ito from 5% to 100%. Inabot tayo ng roughly 36 minutes to complete the full cycle. And definitely, it's quite fast. And this one can also fast charge up to 100 watts and definitely it's something good if you have a 100 watts na fast charger na wireless of course and it also can reverse charge up to 5 watts if kailangan ng iyong kaibigan iyong crush or iyong asawa bigyan mo ng kuryente galing dito sa Honor Magic 4 Pro mo and itong phone na ito can withstand a whole day without charging as long as remember you have to use it normally if you're playing heavy games dito definitely medyo mabibitin ka. Probably around 2 in the afternoon. Baka kailangan mo na mag-charge. And by the way guys, tinayin natin mag-CPU throttling. So, kita natin dito, medyo bumaba ang kunti ang kanyang performance as we hit around mga 6 minutes while doing this test. And I can say na, well, okay naman siya as long as hindi naman siya namula. Well, pwede na. And I can say that there are some phones na equipped with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 na mumula na siya after hitting the 5 minute mark. Now, playing some games dito, Call of Duty Mobile, I can say okay na okay siya. Ang ganda ng kanyang experience dahil, of course, alam naman natin, flagship ang ganda ng chipset dito. And here are the graphics settings ng kaya nitong phone na ito. And I was playing the game using all high settings. And the gameplay was really nice, smooth siya dito sa Call of Duty Mobile. I was able to run down around mga 1 hour of non-stop gaming. And it's quite nice. Ang ganda ng kanyang graphics and I can say na smooth and halos wala na mao na feel na frame drops or lags 
And what's nice is yung kanyang touch response sa screen is also very responsive. And something na napansin ko dito while playing the game after one hour, medyo uminit siya around somewhere here. Umabot siya around mga 41 degrees Celsius which is, well, quite acceptable pa rin naman siya. I would highly suggest alagyan nyo ng cooler dito sa likod ang yung phone para lumaming ang phone ng gusto when you're doing long non-stop gaming. Browsing on social media is definitely smooth dahil sa kanil 120 hertz of screen refresh rate. Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Walang problema. Smooth na smooth. Tinry ko rin ng 5G dito sa phone na ito. Globe Smart. Walang problema. As long as may masasagap ko 5G na signal, mabilis ang download speed and quite fast din mag-load ang games. Now, we're down to the most interesting thing dito sa phone na ito. It's of course the camera. So, chinek naman natin ang kanyang camera. It's definitely nice. I know that this phone can definitely perform. Ang kanyang camera is probably one of the more top-notch dito sa premium line ni Honor. Of course, there's another one, the Honor 4 Ultimate. I'm not quite sure kung lalabas siya dito sa atin, pero that one is ranked number one sa DxO Mark. So, I expect this one is somewhere near ang kanyang performance even though na wala siya sa DxO Mark ranking. I believe that this one has carried on something special from the Ultimate version. And dito sa likod ng phone nito, it has four camera sensor. Starting with the 50MP na wide lens, there's also a 50MP na ultra wide lens, 64MP na periscope telephoto lens, and of course a 3D depth sensor. Plus another module dito is probably the laser. Recording video dito sa likod, it can record as high as 4K 60fps. And sa harap, meron sa 12MP na ultra-wide lens which can cover up to 100 degrees ng wide angle. And of course, ang kanyang other sensor is a 3D depth sensor. This can record up to 4K, 30fps. So, i-determine lang natin dito sa likod ko which is which dito sa mga camera modules. So, this one, pag tinakpan natin, natatakpan siya. So, meaning this is the wide lens. So, ilagyan natin sa ultra-wide. So, try natin takpan ng itong isa. And yes, it's the ultra-wide lens, itong isa. And this one, probably, it's the zoom lens na kaya mag-zoom up to 100 times zoom. So, lagay lang natin sa 3.5x zoom. And nilagay ko siya sa 10 times zoom. So, tinakpan natin yung gitna. Yes, it's the zoom lens. And sabi natin that this camera can zoom up to 100 times zoom. So, definitely, it's also this same sensor. So taking in some low light shots dito sa loob na aking studio, I can see very detailed ang mga pictures na nakuha na itong phone na ito. And I really love it. Outdoors, I can see, well, no need to say dahil ang ganda ng mga pictures na nakuha natin outdoors, mga kahit mga bokeh shots, it's really nice and creamy. Now, going indoors sa low light, I can say the pictures are really nice and it gives me that more dramatic finish ang mga pictures do dahil siguro mas pinaganda ni Honor ang camera dito sa phone na ito. I was really blown away with some of the photos dito na nakuha ko and I'm really surprised with its performance. So actually, tinayin natin yung 100 times zoom niya and starting with the ultra-wide lens, this is how it looks. Wide lens. 3.5 times zoom, 10 times zoom, 50 times zoom, and 100 times zoom. Not bad, di ba? Sa outdoors, tinanin natin ang kanyang Marites lens na kanyang 100 times zoom. This is the normal shot. This is the 3.5x zoom. This is the 10 times zoom. This is the 50 times zoom. And this is the 100 times zoom. So, para sa mga tao na di pa nakita kung ano itsura ng monumento sa monumento, this is how it looks like. Now, taking some selfie shot, doon ako nabili ng husto dito sa phone na ito dahil ang ganda ng mga shots na nakuha ko dito sa camera nito for the front lens, be it uh, outdoor, indoor, ang ganda ng mga shots niya. Napabili ba ako dalaga ng husto dahil ang ganda ng mga kuha na ito, unlike mga other cameras, kahit i-sabihin na niya, ang ganda ng kanyang rear camera pero ang front camera medyo hindi ganun ka okay. But this one, Ang kanyang camera sa harap is definitely something na gusto mong gamitin again and again and again. Taking some vlog video using the front camera, smooth and hindi siya shaky. Pagdating naman sa rear camera, recording at 4K, smooth din siya, no? Pero, pero meron siyang kunting tagtag, kunti lang. But if you set it down to 1080p, I'm sure na hindi na siya jittery. 
But this one, I can say, really acceptable na siya, even using just my bare hands. Now, probably for many of you guys out there, a Magic 4 Pro ni Honor is probably one of your dream vlogging device, just like me. I'll be honest to you, kasi ang ganda niya, lalo sa outdoors, taking videos, sobrang sharp niya, and ang ganda ng mga color reproduction from this unit. And, and I would love to take this outdoors, ang Magic Honor 4 Pro. And probably this one might intrigue me to probably try the Magic 4 Ultimate. And it's there, up there on the DxO Mark na camera ranking number one siya right now. I'm really intrigued kasi ang ganda na ng performance nitong 4 Pro. What more si 4 Ultimate? I hope na magkaroon dito sa Pilipinas pretty soon para ma-review natin just for you. And of course, having a dream vlogging device, kailangan mo rin ng dream tripod. And of course, I have here is the small rig na tripod. And it's called the Carbon Fiber Tripod with center column. Ang ganda na guys. I have yet to try this outdoor but dito pa lang sa indoor. Grabe. Sobrang ganda na ng performance niya. And meron din attachment dito kasama na it's called the small rig na lightweight fluid head. And what it does, papakita ko sa inyo in a quick while. So, unbox muna natin tong tripod. No, it's the small rig. Yeah. Ang, ang liit lang ng package. No? So, you can bring this outdoor just Hook it there. Ganito lang. Okay? Ang liit. I mean, who, who, sinong vlogger uh, na ayaw mag-bit-bit na ganito kaliit na tripod, no? So, ako, for me, it's okay. Kasi, ang liit, ang nipis niya. And it's so easy to bring. Kasi, magaan siya. So, of course, silado pa tawag yun ito. Bagong-bago pa siya. Press kong press ko. Hmm, bango. Okay. So, tatanggalin muna natin ang kanyang packaging. So guys, ang gaan niya, no? So it's made out of carbon fiber. Isipin mo guys, no? Ang, ang gaan niya sobra and it's so easy to bring it outdoors kasi there's a lot of tripod. I have a lot of tripod dito sa aking studio and ranging from mga mabibigat, no? And probably none as light as this one na try nga natin buhati na isang daliri. Oh, ha? Sa daliri lang yan, guys. Oh. Oh, pakita ko sa inyo, ah. Just one finger, kaya natin buhatin to, Okay? So, it's super lightweight. Ang sabi ni Small Rig, it's made out of uh, carbon fiber material. So, yeah, probably that's it. So, uh, in order to extend yung paa, all you need to do is just pull this out. Hahaba na siya. And probably, if I'm correct, this one can stand as tall as a as me. No? So, mga 5 foot, if I'm correct. And pwede pa extend to, eh, if I'm correct. So, yeah, let's just see kung, kung, kung kaya pa niya extend a little bit more further. So, yan. So, kaya pa niya mag-extend, no? So, from the uh, size of a normal Asian, ang tangkad niya. Okay, so, I'm standing 5'7 tall. So, halos 5'7, 5'8 ang kaya netong uh Itong tripod na ito. Now, just a quick rundown para makita natin how this thing works. So, this one, meron siyang handle which you can twist and extend. This is probably one of my uh, favorite dito sa tripod na ito. Sa kanyang, ano no, sa itong extension na ito which is the small rig lightweight fluid video head. Uh, it's very versatile. So, dito, uh, you can uh, change the angle of your handle depende sa gusto nyo, no? It's uh, very adjustable. Then this one, uh, you can change the uh, tilt netong uh, head natin, no? Itong fluid head natin. At the same time, itong sa ilalim, uh, this one, you can adjust it para mag-lock ang pan, pan, ano natin, panning, no? So, you can adjust it uh, like this one. So, hawak mo lang handle mo, left and right. So, kung gusto mo i-lock, ilalock mo lang siya para hindi siya gumalaw. Okay? So, it's as easy as that. Then, of course, Itong lock na ito is to change yung atrasabante nitong head natin, no? So, it's adjustable din. Depende sa weight, no? So, as well as this one, you can open this one para palitan itong uh, attachment natin dito. But as of the moment, ilalak lang natin just for this purpose. And of course, this one para dito sa panning din dito sa ibabaw. So, it's very easy, very... Uh, let's just say na sobrang dali niyang gamitin, no? So, right now, I just simply want to mount itong uh, phone natin, which is, of course, the Honor Magic 4 Pro para makita natin, no? 
how how to use it. Of course, i on lang natin to. Normally, you'll be shooting this one uh, using the rear camera. Okay, so using the rear camera, just put it here. Imount mo lang. Okay. Then just put it to video mode. Then the best I would suggest just simply use the highest na recording natin, which is 4K 60 FPS. Okay, so 4K 60 FPS. So yun ang uh, best setting na kain itong uh, Honor na Magic 4 Pro. So in order for us to be able to take in some videos, which is for me next time to try natin to outdoors due to limited time. So uh, like this one, what we can do here is uh, magpapan lang tayo, ganito. Ganito, ka, ganito kadali lang daw. So then, of course, if you want to pan it left and right, ganito kadali lang. And if you want to uh, do some other things, of course, uh, like, pwede mo extend to para hindi kayo may harapan na mag-handle. You can also do that. Okay? Depende sa inyong positioning, yung liking. So, sobrang dali na, sobrang adjustable. And if you want to uh, use it for vlogging, just like this, uh, uh, rear camera, you can also tilt it like this dahil mahabang handle so you don't need to sobrang ilalapit yung kamay nyo just to be able to uh, pan the, this one itong uh, fluid head natin no? so ganito ka easy gumamit nitong uh, dream tripod ni small rig no? so if you want to know saan nyo pwede mabili to link on the description box below check it out overall I'm really impressed with the Honor Magic 4 Pro and this probably is, is something na gusto natin i try to have inside your pocket if you're looking for a flagship phone na magandang camera na magandang ganang display and of course maganda rin kanyang battery life and again this phone is priced at 52,990 and there's a freebie na honor na watch worth around 12,000 pesos catch it if you can dahil very limited stocks lang siya Probably the only thing na hindi ko masyado trip is sobrang fingerprint magnet dito sa likod. But overall, I'm quite happy dito sa phone na ito. Snappy din kasi ang Magic UI 6. So guys, kung gusto nyo malaman saan nyo pwede mabili ito, I'll be linking everything on the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss mga future uploads dito sa ating channel. And so, hope pala sa Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. What's up?